everyone welcome to another devops tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see how to deploy applications from github to aws using github actions okay so to demonstrate this we will be deploying a simple static website from github to aws s3 so let's get started so uh, the first step is to create a github repository and add all our code there so this is the repository that i have already created i will be sharing this code uh, in the description okay so it has uh, two parts so one is our website code uh, which has an index file and a logo it's a very simple uh, static website and the other important part is this uh, github workflows directory so under this we are going to add our workflow files workflow files are basically a uh, files which define our um, workflows which have jobs so whenever uh, this condition is met like in our workflow file whenever uh, the code is pushed to main branch these set of jobs which we have defined in this uh, workflow file uh, gets executed so that is how a ci cd in github actions github works you define basically a workflow file uh, and you give a condition on which it uh, the workflow file gets triggered so whenever that condition is met uh, the github triggers these workflow files and execute all the jobs that you have listed over here so uh, for us to deploy this website to aws we have uh, uh, only one job here so that is a deploy and uh, uh, like i mean if you if you want me to explain this job it basically uses uh, like one action which is s3 sync action at master so these are like a lot of uh, actions that are readily available in github marketplace so like if you search here like when you are editing you can search based on your uh, requirement you can search for uh, certain actions so since our requirement is to deploy files from our github repository into aws s3 so i just searched for s3 sync here and i found this action which is what i am using in this okay so if you click on this uh, it will uh, explain how to use this action in detail okay so this is the code uh, we have and uh, these are the parameters that it accepts so basically we need to pass the s3 bucket to which we want to deploy and there is access key id and secret access key this is basically uh, the access uh, part where you create an im user and you pass access key and secret access key of that im user here so i will be showing how to create this also and there is aws region and there is a source directory okay so uh, it's very simple action and it's very easy to use so i am using that in my workflow file to deploy uh, my code to aws s3 okay so uh now, now that you are clear with this uh, workflow file and the code in my repository so let's uh, go and do some setup in aws okay so the first thing that we need to do is we need to create an s3 bucket which will host our static website okay so i'll create it in north virginia so that's fine let's call it as demo static website and just click on create bucket okay okay it looks like uh, uh, let's give it some unique name hosting whatever. okay click on create bucket okay so since this bucket is now created we need to do a couple of things for it to be able to host a static website so that is the first thing that we need to do is click on properties here and uh, scroll to the bottom and you will find something called a static website hosting we need to enable this feature okay so click on enable and we need to give the file index file name so index.html so just give whatever like i mean your index file is just give the name of that file here for us it is index.html so i'm just giving it like that so click on save changes okay so that is the first thing that we need to do and the second thing that we need to do is we need to go to permissions and we need to uh, enable public access for this bucket because we will be hosting this bucket uh, website in this bucket and the website needs to be accessed from public internet okay so that is why I click on edit and uncheck this block all public access and click on save changes and just type on type confirm here and confirm okay so uh, and there is one one more thing that you need to do go to object ownership and click on edit and click on acls enabled here and check this i acknowledge acs will be restored and click on save changes okay so uh, once you have done this this uh, website should be i mean this bucket should be good for hosting a static website so the next thing that we need to do is we need to create an iam user uh, which will be used which uh, 
the github will use to authenticate to our aws account because uh, you are running uh, some i mean commands on your aws account through github so this is a way in which using uh, github authenticates into your aws account okay so let's create that iam user so click on users here and uh, click on create user and username let's call it as github user okay so we don't need to give a management console access to this user and uh, let's attach policies directly to this user so this user since like i mean we need to upload our files to s3 we need to give s3 access so you need not give full access you can just give uh, like upload permissions and uh, uh, only necessary permissions to this user but uh, just for simplicity i'm just giving amazon s3 full access to this user and click on next and click on create user okay so this is a github user and you can go here and click for security credentials and uh, so if you click here this is where you will get create access key and uh, you know so which is a uh, secret access key which we need uh, in this repository okay so now in this repository we need to create these three variables that is aws s3 bucket aws access key id and secret access key id so the way to create that is click on settings in your repository and here in secrets and variables click on this actions and here repository secrets so let's click on new repository secret okay so the first secret uh, is aws s3 bucket and this is the name of your s3 bucket okay so copy and paste it here okay so that is one secret and the next secret that we need to create is uh, aws access key id and to get that uh, in the user that you just created uh, click on create access key and uh, let's just give other here it should be fine okay click on next uh, let's call it github access okay create access key so copy this access key and paste it here that is the access key and the next thing that we need to do is secret access key which we will copy from here and paste it okay so i'm just going to delete this uh, i'm user after this demo so make sure that you don't reveal your access key and secret access key uh, publicly okay so yep once you have created these variables it should be done and the next thing that you need to do is you need to uh, add a bucket s3 bucket policy to this bucket okay so here click on permissions okay and uh, here click on bucket policy click on edit and click on policy generator okay so this is an s3 bucket policy effect is hello the principal is basically the arn of the user that you just created so take this user and paste it here so basically you are just giving uh, this principal access to your bucket okay so add a principal amazon s3 actions i'm just going to give all actions and the arn arn is basically the arn of the bucket okay so let's get that this is the arn just going to put it here okay let's okay so this is the policy let's see okay let's just copy this policy and paste it here in this bucket policy of this bucket okay on edit okay yep i think this should be good click on save changes okay so once you are done with us you have set up all the required access so now let's go back to our repository and uh, let's do some changes to our code and push those changes uh, to the repository so what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit this index.html file ws made easy I'm going to call it test website. Okay. And click on commit changes. 
I'm committing me uh, to the main branch directly. Okay, so once you have committed, this this should automatically trigger the uh, you know workflow file. So so this is the workflow. This triggered. So if you see here, it will run all the steps uh, that are there in our workflow file. So let's wait for this to complete, and then check if it has successfully deployed the website. Okay. So all the steps are now complete. So let's go back to this bucket here objects. Let's click on refresh. So if you see these files are deployed to this and uh, to weave the website, um, the static website. So basically this is the URL of that static website. So let's click on this website and see if that is deployed. Okay, so if you see the static website is, uh, website is successfully deployed and we are able to access this website from uh, internet. So the next thing what we will do is we will make uh, some changes to this website and see if that uh, changes automatically get deployed through GitHub Actions uh, to this S3 bucket. Okay, so let's go back to our repository and uh, go here in index I'll index HTML. I'll just make some minor changes. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just call it version 2 welcome to aws made easy version 2 and do uh, commit changes so basically this uh, should get updated to version 2 so let's see if that happens so i have pushed my changes and the workflow file is automatically triggered let's wait for this uh, to complete and check the website okay I think all the steps are done. So here I'm just going to refresh this website. So if you see those changes got uh, <coughs> deployed to S3 automatically through the GitHub Actions uh, workflow. So that's the uh, like, I mean, uh, the essence of CI, CD or DevOps wherein you make certain changes to your code and that code gets automatically deployed to your uh, production or whatever. Uh, automatically without any manual intervention okay so that was a very uh, short and simple demo of uh, sh to show you how you can use github actions to deploy your applications to aws s3 okay so uh, i'll be making more such devops tutorials in the future so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video